Hello, this is Sashiko live streaming. Who has been long time, so I believe this is on. <laughs> Please let me know if this audio is not good enough. Check, check. Probably it's good. Um, I can make it loud a little bit, so if it's not that loud, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll show you, I'll talk about Sashiko while I'm doing Sashiko stitching. Sashiko live, I'm going to do it. 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 I'm going to do Hello, has been long time. Just a second. Yep, this is good. I hope. Yep, you can hear me just fine. Thank you so much. Perfect. Hmm. Yes, I have a presentation tomorrow. Um, has been almost a month since I talked to somebody outside of my family for in English. So I just wanted to kind of practice my verbal. I mean, I haven't even spoken Japanese. I think it's good to talk. And I will answer some questions if the topic, if the question is related to Japanese culture and Sashiko. I am not going to answer any technical questions unless it's new question. Uh, all the other questions are already answered on my website, so please check that. And I prepared already some patterns on the denim. This is Levi's 5... I think it's... yeah, 501. Levi's 501. Uh, it's very... not new. Not very old, but I will. I already prepared the design this morning, so I will just stitch through that. A lot of moving. I'm sorry. Once I get used to this. Posture, it's gonna be okay. There we go. It is very difficult to stitch on the denim, so as always, it's very hard. I'm sorry, this is something, something is not going well. I don't need the calculator. This one is here, this one is here. Okay, this should be okay. Hello, hello. I used to, uh, not I used to, I would like to offer Sashiko talks, those the live streaming while I have a guest and talk about Sashiko stitching. It is kind of difficult for me to keep talking by myself in English while I'm stitching. So I would like to continue that Sashiko talk. We had have we have had about eight sessions of those and it was a great success. So I would like to keep doing that but um, I got a little busier, I got a little bit more tired. As a result, um, it was kind of difficult to follow the schedule. <laughs> well, the beauty of this live session is that I can do whenever I want. So like, let's say that I need some rehearsal of speaking in English without any s script. This is a great opportunity for me to do that. 
Well, for tomorrow's presentation, I do have a script and I do have the presentation slide for two hours. So it won't be like this, but still, I'm. <laughs> if you know me in person, I'm quite perfect perfectionist. So I have to prepare everything to the extreme that you may be kind of, you may be, hmm, you may be puzzled, you may be confused, you may be very uncomfortable that I prepared too much. And it, it is usually okay because I can do it in person, but online there's a lot of unforeseen possibility to not to be able to complete what I have to do what I have to do. So I'll do everything and let's see how it's gonna go. <laughs> I do even bought the camping battery just in case that there might be the power outage. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for waiting for me to come back. Has it been a month I guess? Yes, last month I became a bit burnout and I wanted to focus on getting everything back including stitching too so but you know Sashiko is always here and I will never stop doing it no matter how no matter what happened I will keep doing it I'll be always come back here so yep just if you are following on the Instagram, keep reading. That's pretty much honest messages there. I become, well, not a become. I am trying. To, I'm trying to be as difficult as possible on the Instagram because being nice is easier, but it sometimes doesn't really communicate what I want to share. So I try to be extra difficult. It's, it's probably, it, I don't have to be that difficult in person, but since it's just reading, uh, it might make you uncomfortable, but I hope you will find, you will read something out of it instead of being defensive on something I say. Yeah, the Japanese are very... <laughs> I am writing something, a very, very, very long article for the Patreon group. And the topic is, how can you describe Japanese culture in one word? Uh, there's no answer for that. There's no answer for that. I mean, there's no right answer, or wrong answer. Every single word, uh, based on your experience or feeling, is val valid. Um, everything is right. But I do have one specific word to describe Japanese, which is hugely li related to the Sashiko culture. And I'm writing that article, which I wrote already one for a group of people, but I'm writing it for everybody else. I didn't see how you started the stitches. Did you use the knot, back stitch, or just leave the hanging end? You will see. You will see. I don't make not, but you will see how I finish the ending and beginning. The specific project, this design doesn't require any knot or even any backstitching. Oops. And I will probably show you. Uh, well, I'm not gonna teach here, but you'll see. Tomorrow, tomorrow, 1 p.m. Just a second. I hope all of my stitches are were in the frame. <laughs> it was, right? Okay. 
So if you, yes, um, there's a video on my YouTube channel, how to not to make knot. Uh, you can learn the technique, you can learn the idea of how to not to make knot on the sashiko stitching. Uh, some people say that the choice they making knot is the sashiko style and it's a choice. It is a choice. It is very much a choice. Please make knot if you have to. But at the same time, please do not use not being able to make knot as the excuse to not to learn. So for this specific design, I do not have to make knot and I will not even do the back stitching. Uh, there's a reason and <laughs> if I explain it, that's kind of how it's, it won't be that much fun. So, <laughs> I, it's not that big of a deal, but if I explain verbally, probably <laughs> it's not fun. So, you'll probably see it. Ah, Nihonjin no kata, arigato gozaimasu. Sorry, I'm gonna speak Japanese a little bit. Jeepan kit ni sashiko suru to migite ni wa soto chikara wa hitsuyo desu ka? うーん、あんまり必要な勝ったりします、実は。それよりも今この左手が動いてるこの左手の動きの方が、えっと、糸こきっていう動きなんですけど、この糸こきの方がおそらく力使うから。なので、今は左手の方が疲れてるんですよね
sorry, sorry for the um, two two questions. Fabric and and either fiber art. Uh, it might take some time to answer. Just a second, okay? ありがとうございました。英語圏の方々に差し込みを広めるかつと素晴らしいです。ありがとうございます。もう長くやっているので良かったらまたお付き合いください。もう三年目かな。All right, so I will answer the question. The fabric thread matters, but fabric is not that. I'm not gonna say this fabric is only good. But I always prefer the cotton fabric, uh, kind of heavier cotton fabric, not the thin one. And this is interesting, but I always find that Japanese cotton fabric is very easy to stitch. I'm not a really professional in fabric, so I'm not really sure about it, but I feel a bit of difference between the Japanese fabric, or for that matter, Asian fabric and Western fabric. This is just my guess, but since the Japanese climate is pretty humid, the fabric has a little bit of space. It's kind of a little bit loose. It's very thick, but it's little loose. So this kind of fabric here, this is the indigo dye fabric, but this is quite thick, but it's it's breathable. Does it make sense? Breathe. It's breathing. The fabric can breathe. On the other hand, some of the um, European or American cotton fabric is very tight, which is very good, but sometimes it might not be ideal for sashiko stitching. But being said, denim is good, canvas is good. I don't, I have a preference, but I don't have the recommendation for the sashiko fabric. I mean, you will find, uh, once you get the rhythm, once you get the stitching you, as your... Uh, sorry, once you get a rhythm of stitching, you'll find your favorite fabric. Um, if this is an analogy, if this might make sense to you. So I consider ni Hmm? Needle, no. <laughs> I consider thimble as the cutting board and needle as the knife. It does not really matter what to cut. Huh? It's not a good analogy. <laughs> it's not a good analogy. I'm sorry. Forget about it. No. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> fabric. The fabric, um, the cotton is always good. Uh, you can do linen, hemp, silk. Those are good. And do I do any other fiber arts? I am not very comfortable or I don't really find myself a good artist. I, I cannot draw. I'm horrible at designing things. At least I feel like that. So I don't do any other fiber arts, but I'm a big fan of dyeing, natural dye, which I would love to do one day. Uh, so my mother, you know, my mother is professional of dyer as well so i would like to learn from her but as of now i just do sashiko stitching i also i like i think i like stories telling storytelling so i like i write a lot of <sighs> see this is the reason i'm doing the live streaming i need a tongue twister i write a lot of stories on the instagram and facebook and such i hope i so i don't do any other I don't do any other art or crafting. I'm very clumsy. I made a f kind of, it was a kind of joke with the Japanese people, Japanese friend on this YouTube channel that I might be able to make the YouTube channel, like sub channel that how clumsy, clumsy I am. 
<laughs> I tried to make a pompon, like, you know, the, there's a pompon to make from the yarn. I tried to make it, but it became like a mop to clean the floor. So I'm, I'm really, my hands are very clumsy. You may not believe that because of my stitching, but this is like, you know, I've been doing this for a long years. I'm really not talented in terms of I'm really clumsy. God, my where's my English? Seriously, where's my English? So yeah, um I would like to try a lot of things, but I don't have time. Probably that's the excuse that I don't try. Oh, I am. Um, I really like to try quilting, though. It was my stories that made me come back. To you. Thank you so much. Yes, it is my story. <laughs> it's kind of scary to me, but the more I write on the Instagram, the more I have to write. The more I realize I have to write. So by the time I finish finish writing the whole Instagram story, I have a list of ideas or list of the theme that I have to write about. So if I write one, the list becomes three. And it's the multi mul multiplication after that. And I probably have like hundreds of lists. I mean, hundreds of topics that I have to talk about on the Google Doc. But when it becomes more than 100, I think I get burned out. I am cutting the, a kilt as we... Well, that's great. Yes. Oh, I forgot to mention this. This is very important. Please try to do something <laughs> while you watch this live streaming. It is very strange to say that, but there's nothing there's nothing significant happening over the video i'm just stitching so i'm not gonna do any magic i'm not gonna do any you know the experiment that other youtuber does you know I'm, there's nothing is gonna happen here i'm not gonna surprise you so i hope you can have something something to work on it doesn't have to be sashiko of course it's gonna be great if you can do sashiko but it can be quilting or other things that you enjoy and after all, the reason I share Sashiko is to make a place. The Japanese has the word uh, Ibasho. That's the... Uh, I probably explained that on Instagram, but... Um, it is the word for the place to belong to. And that's the reason I'm here. I want to, I want to make a place for somebody to belong to. So if you, you know... I don't know you in person and you don't know me in person but if we can share some time together that's I think that's what the sashiko the Japanese people were doing sashiko in their life once in their house with their mother by my by themselves and once in their with their friends in the community probably maybe maybe not But the beauty of hand stitching is that you can, well, not hand stitching, the beauty of hand crafting is that you don't have to really focus on it. Right? I mean, I don't have to focus on stitching and I don't really... Once you get skilled, you don't have to really focus on one thing. You can talk, you can watch, you can check the comments while you stitch, well, while you make. And the worst outcome of missing it is just, you know, stitching my hand. And the worst case scenario, I might bleed, but that's it. It's not like the <laughs> traffic accident. I miss the traffic light and then get a lot of accident. That's a bad thing. You know, that's a horrible outcome. So I don't like to make a place while driving. But crafting is kind of safe place for that. Oh, 
sure <laughs> i'm sorry um yes the i changed my instagram from my store i'm sorry about that i have to change that website i have to change my website link the instagram blocked my account once <laughs> that explains and that explains how much report i get probably many people reporting my account um sashiko store Just Google Sashiko story and you can find my, not a Google, if you go to the Instagram and if you type Sashiko story, you'll find that. <laughs> Sometimes my account get blocked. Hmm. I don't know why. I don't have any, <laughs> any specific instant that I did, did something wrong, but according to the policy when somebody reported my account many times then i sometimes get suspended <laughs> i don't know i don't know if this is because of the reporting or not but i don't think my <laughs> unfollow rate on my instagram is pretty high i guess so that means i'm making somebody uncomfortable Oops. But that's okay. It's not my goal to make them uncomfortable, but if I have to make them uncomfortable to communicate, then I will. It's it's okay. My goal is to share. Yes, I have been kneading while listening and watching. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Let's keep doing that. I really want to share the beauty of this not focusing. <laughs> I hope it makes sense to you or some of you, but like when you get to the crafting, I think it's the same in any crafting, but if you really don't focus on each movement, right? I, I might be wrong, but when you are a very experienced kneader, you don't probably count of those. I don't know, but I don't. I'm. I cannot. I don't knit at all. So you don't really count. Well, you might count, but I think your hands memorize what to do, so you don't have to have any mind on your fingers. The fingers communicate to the needle or fabric or yarn by themselves so what you have to do is just be there so the needles or fabric or anything will make it for you but for some reason many people find sashiko is something different they think they have to <sighs> they don't think they have to be perfect but they try to be as accurate as possible by focusing on it as the result, they start saying, let's embrace the imperfection. Those logic is already not a part of crafting for me. You don't really worry about the result to begin with. You, the goal is to make things. The goal is to complete this, not to make it perfect or to not to make it beautiful. Because, you know... Sashiko is the stitching to make fabric stronger. It, it, it is mindful, but you don't have to be mindful to do Sashiko. Just a second. I hope this makes sense. But yeah, so please bring some of your stuff. Oh, it doesn't have to be handcrafting. If you like drinking wine and reading books that's perfectly fine uh, if you listen to the m music while uh, listening to this youtube then it might be difficult to focus but i think everybody not everybody i don't want to say everybody i'm sorry i think many crafters know the rhythm like rhythm is very important yet 
many people focus on one stage in sashiko. I really don't understand. Like, and they say that that's Japanese sashiko. I don't think so. I really don't think so. If they had to do sashiko for their life, of course, if of course, of course, of course, it's good to have a great result. But it shouldn't be the whole picture. Ah, sorry. So that's another another uh, that's another reason I do not recommend those pattern pre-printed. Well, the fabric with pattern pre-printed is fine. I don't have any problem with that. But I pref I do not prefer those fabric with the pattern pre-printed with the size of stitches already kind of indicated. So this is just line, right? This is just line, but there's those fabric with the stitches sign stitches size dot already pre-printed. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that and there's a very good way to kind of get a sense of that. I really doesn't don't like to be told. I don't like to be sorry. I don't like somebody telling me what to do. <laughs> So if somebody tell me the size of stitches that I have to follow, I will get very discouraged. And I will not enjoy it much. So that's another reason I prefer. I mean, not prefer, I just do this. Do the easy stitching for me. If I want it perfect, I would buy new. Yeah, that's exactly my point. I mean, we have a choice. It's a, it's one of the biggest difference between this Japanese sashiko, which was practiced in Japan, and the sashiko we can practice today. We do have a choice. We do not have to stitch for the survival. Of course, it's going to be different. So we have to understand what is the difference between that sashiko they had to practice and the sashiko we can choose. And we have to know both. We have to understand the both of both sashiko so that we can choose what kind of sashiko we like to practice. So it, it will be very difficult to have the exactly same sashiko because, again, we have choice. We don't really have to stitch. But it is very important to imagine what if. And all I ask is to imagine that. And in, in order to imagine, you have to learn the Japanese culture because, you know, you're not from the Japanese. If you do not understand Japanese language, then you may have to probably understand Japanese language to understand, to, to, to imagine how they were. So I'm trying to introduce as many stories as possible in English. Then we can share that. <laughs> when you are quilting and go off the line, it's almost <laughs> Well, when you are quilting, go off the line. Go off the line is a different story. Um, <laughs> It's the same thing as sashiko. You you may have to look at the road. That's 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 yeah. That's that's a little different. <laughs> that's you know a little bit of <laughs> concentration is important. So I, I look at here. I look at here. I'm not saying I'm not looking at all somewhere else. I look at there, but I do not focus only here. I hope it makes sense. Uh, yeah, it, it's I know it's a big disappointment if I miss the line. Oh, Sharon, thank you so much for coming. Ah, she's the guest usually I have on my Sashiko talk. It is so nice to come back. Yes, welcome back. I hope your summer is going well. 
this is my practice. Thank you so much for coming here to let me practice my English. <laughs> it is really s strange to say it, but my tongue doesn't move well if I don't practice. I mean, I speak English to, in my family. My wife and I, my daughter, we communicate in English, the common language for three of us. But in the family, I don't really have to worry about... Oops. I don't really worry. I don't have to worry about the, you know, pronunciation or how I speak. Because first of all, you know, I'm a... I have a daughter, so my chance of speaking up is very small. She always wants to talk. So my job is to kind of listen. So first of all, I don't have that much opportunity to speak up. Second of all, um, it's, it's very short and <laughs> doesn't really require me twisting my tang, tongue. So it's very, I was very scared of what's going to happen tomorrow. And thank you so much for being here with me. Yes, I keep saying, but please have something to stay just to work on while watching this live streaming. That'd be, that's my goal, to make the place to be. Like, I feel like it's a pr place already. Many people are, thank you, but thank you so much for waiting for me to come back. That means this is became a place. The YouTube live stream became a place for them, for us, for me, for you, to sort of get together to see how, you, you know, how we're doing, how you are doing. So... since we are living in the society where it is kind of difficult to find those connections or place to belong to. We can belong to the society based on the title or based on what we do, but I mean the friend is fairly difficult term for me. I don't know if the f definition of friend is exactly the same as the definition of friend I know in Japanese. But in comparison, in comparison to today and the time, let's say 30 years ago, it is more difficult to make friend. I might be wrong, <laughs> this is, might be because of me, but The relationship became a little bit more caring for that. Like we care to not to hurt the other. Um, the goal of the conversation, the goal of the communication, goal of the friend is to not to make others uncomfortable. Therefore, the place requires some of those, not a rules, but mm, how can I explain that? Expectation, there we go. Um, even friendship requires some expectation and there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that and we have to you know follow that to be part of the society but there's so many so much expectation to be part of some group i kind of it's kind of difficult Mm, have you ever done sashiko on the very old Levi's denim? I am curious if it's considered too precious. Um, I don't know the value of those denim much. I think I know the basic, but I'm not really good at that. So I don't think I have that experience to stitch on those super expensive vintage denim but this is the Levi's that I'm stitching Levi's 501 that I'm stitching right now it's not that old 
it depends, I guess. It depends on the goal. If I really, really like that denim, like old, old Levi's or old jeans, if I really like it to wear, then I would probably stitch, regardless of the value. Um, if my goal is to display it or to resell it to somebody else, then I probably won't touch it because it's too valuable for that, you know, exchangeable value. But if I like it, I will probably stitch because it's going to last, it's going to make, you know, stitching will make the life of denim longer. And if I like that denim, I probably should. And I would like to, probably would like to. But yeah, it really depends on what we do. For that, like, we shouldn't probably be stitching on the vintage fabric, vintage Japanese fabric, because it became super expensive. But since we like it, we do stitch on it. Old Levi's are very thick. Okay, those like the roll denim. Mm, I have tried the roll denim. <laughs> Not even used. A very new one. It's doable. I don't didn't like it, but it's doable. The left hand, the hand without the needle will get super super sore after stitching this hand is really doing nothing well <laughs> doing nothing is the wrong way to explain but this hand shouldn't be tired many people say that this hand gets tired and then I cannot continue such cool stitching nope this hand this hand gets tired if you do it right Not right, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say right. These hands get more tired over time. <laughs> Oops. If they're still thick and stiff, it will be very difficult. Yeah, it, it's not ideal if it's thick and... First of all, first, first of all, it's a very good information for you. First of all, stitching on the denim is very outside of the traditional sashiko. Um, many people think, not many people, but some people on the Instagram or Facebook think that I'm very, very traditional, live in the past, uh, stick to the tradition, stubborn to not to change it. Nope, I'm opposite. I'm very, very marvelic for that in my sashiko. Um, journey. I am the one who kept getting a lot of criticism doing something wrong, wrong again, wrong for them in my experiments, in my life, in my sashiko life. And the stitching on the denim is one of those. None, none, none of, none of <laughs> None of my artisans like that. And this needle is very good for denim stitching as well. But it's not designed to stitch on denim. So it could break. It could be broken. It's too hard. It is sashiko. <laughs> this is designed to do sashiko stitching. And the sashiko stitching usually doesn't include denim or thicker fabric than the indigo or cotton fabric. So, this is more like the applied version of Sashiko. But yeah, it, 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 uh, it will be very helpful if you learn how to use thimble. Again, uh, this hand with the thimble shouldn't get tired. I can stitch this 24 hours if I have enough time and I've shown that I have I have the YouTube archive that was probably in Japanese but 
if you are gonna if you want to waste your time I do have that video 24 hours stitching non-stop of course I went to the bathroom but no eating I had a, like a granola bar I kept stitching I kept stitching stitching and it, it's hand didn't get tired I even do the yard work after 24 hours of stitching because I was super I think have hyper after that So if I think this is the kind of answer to um, answer to Sandra, I think if you're still here, uh, you probably didn't see me making a knot or doing back stitches, but I overwrapped a lot of stitches, and that does the exactly same thing as the one I share on the YouTube. So this is the result. It's gonna be. I keep adding and adding and adding. Does the thread change color by picking up the dye from jeans? Does the thread change color by picking up? Nope. Um, usually not. As long as you use the thread, I recommend no. It's interesting, but yeah, it does not. The color of my hand is not from the denim, it's from this ink. It's washable, but... Usually, I, yeah, I don't have experience of that. And I don't have any memories of hearing or listening, like getting any feedback that the color, the thread got that felt like color, so... I don't well I know why I guess this thread is pretty special and there's a some characteristic I cannot say on the public space because of what I did but <laughs> I hope I can explain that sometime in the future but yep um, yeah this thread is quite special uh, therefore I don't I, I, I can ask others but I don't think anybody had a like a problem with having the color from the denim. Well, depends on like if you stitch on some chemical indigo or half chemical or half natural indigo dye fabric. Sometimes there may be the possibility of getting the indigo pigment on your hand, or kakishibu thread may 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 may. Um, drop some of the pigment, like a uh, color pigment on the fabric. As the result, the thread color may change. But as long as I know, those color comes off later on anyway. Well, stitching on denim is fun because I, you know, I can wear this when I'm done. But it's not... I don't want to say ideal. Mm, actually, that's right. It's not ideal. It's not the best fabric to stitch, but I think it's a very good way to enjoy and apply sashiko to our life. So I, I encourage, it, although it's not really traditional, traditional, but I really encourage you to enjoy sashiko to something you can do it, it goes back to the question what kind of fabric um, any fabric is fine as I said uh, even like cheap fabric from Walmart is okay I I experienced it once. It was not the best experience. Of course, I didn't like it as much as I would stitch on the Japanese fabric. 
but it was not bad. I, I could do it. In the same speed, same rhythm, a bit of difficult. Mm, kind of uncomfortable. Look, using the... Hmm, it's a very... I cannot make a good analogy. It's like ride, riding a very cheap car. <laughs> that you have to push the gas to go up the hill. Well, that might not be the good analogy. But it was not bad, but it did work. That's what I want to say. This Hashiko takes a lot of time. I am ex estimating about probably 80 hours, probably more hours to make this denim completed. Probably 100, close to 100. So, you know, I have to do, if I want to complete it from the beginning and end in the live streaming, I have to do three times 24 hours live streaming. That's how much we spend time on it. That's why I want you to kind of enjoy that process too. Um, some people don't understand why this is fun. I mean, it's it's I perfectly, you know, understand how they don't understand it. I <laughs> I didn't understand it neither. I don't know why it's so fun. Why is that even fun? Why, why I don't know why it's so addictive. It's kind of crazy. Like think about it. It's crazy that I can stitch for you know twenty four hours nonstop without losing my mind. Um, in the salvage denim, I don't know if I'm communicating it properly. The denim with st stainless steel, have you attempted? Nope. I have not. Nope, nope. I have tried the raw denim. I don't know if it was a salvage denim. I have tried the raw denim and it was very horrible <laughs> experience. I could have done it, but I kind of decided not to. Um, since I do not know what is the salvage denim with the plastic or in the sorry stainless steel, I have not tried that, and I don't think I should. Maybe difficult. Probably, I wouldn't say impossible, but the needle may be something else. Probably, this needle may not be strong enough for that. But without this needle, I don't think I can be on the rhythm. Well, that's that's another big statement without this needle I cannot be on the rhythm is a very big statement I think I can be on the rhythm in the I'm giving too much credit on this needle I think I can be on the rhythm in the other needle but this needle is very important to enjoy and it, this needle might not be strong enough to do stitching on that kind of denim so The answer is no, I'm sorry, I have not, I don't think I have tried that before. This is not salvage, right? This is, there's no stainless. <laughs> I don't even know if this is, you know, vintage salvage or raw denim. I picked up from the, where was that? I don't even remember where I got it. I stopped buying the Kubo in 2018, so I live on the Kubo that I have before that. And since the memory is like f five years ago, five years ago, wow, it's almost five years ago or four years ago that I did the shopping for the clothing. So I don't have a good memory of where I got it. 
I, I used to shop. I loved shopping. I loved the clothes. And I shopped very mindlessly. Mindlessly. Does it make sense? I didn't really pay attention to what, what I was buying. So... <laughs> I have a lot of things that I didn't even open. That was scary though, like I stopped buying the clothes and then of course I had to go through everything I had and I found several shirts that I didn't even open. I think I liked that when I bought it but, well I have to lose some weight to wear that but, it's, it's very, <laughs> well but that's, that was my happiness before. I made money, I had enough freedom, financial freedom to buy those things. I had a choice. And I do have still have choice, I guess, but I prefer not as the social experiment. This is, n I'm not really, you know, insisting the idea of fashion pollution or the environment. I'm not activist, so I don't, I don't want to be the activist at this moment, so... I'm not say I'm not trying to do anything by doing so, but as the Sashiko teacher, it's more like a social experiment. How can one live without buying the clothes? It's oh, of course I buy some underwears, but those denim jacket. Instead I stitch so it can little last little longer. So yeah, this is one hour out of the 80 hours I'm estimating. 80 hours? Yes, probably 80 hours. Just sashiko is very ordinary practice, so I don't want to romanticize too much. Uh, it's good that you, you know, people get so much inspiration from it, but at the same time, ro romanticizing what sashiko is a bit too much. Some people, <laughs> there was a comment before that I received. It may be a good idea to bring the copy of those comments that I save sometimes. People can be crazy. I'm sorry to say, they can be crazy. They they complain that I have to be mindful to start stitching. I got confused. What? Do I have to be mindful before stitching so that I'm not gonna be disrespectful to sashiko stitching? That's a little bit too much romantic romantic romanticizing. Like, do I have to bow, bow to the needle and thimble before stitching? That that's what they are expecting me to do? I mean, we, we do a lot of like rituals. We say, you know, itadakimasu and gochisou sama deshita before and after the meal. And there are a lot of rituals, bowing is one thing, but this is not a ceremony. <laughs> And you have to be mindful. Well, you can be mindful as the result of stitching, but now you don't have to be calm. You can be super, super angry or super sad or super agitated before stitching. And then you can probably get relaxed after five hours of stitching. <laughs> How long have I gone without buying clothing? Uh, it was 2017 summer, probably that was August, uh, August 8th, August. So, 8, 9, 10, 11, almost four years. Huh? Seven, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yes, almost four years. No, not five years, almost four years. But I stopped buying a lot, long time ago. But I was probably buying it. So, I specified the rules when I started, but... I do accept a gift or the, you know my father-in-law lives in Israel and he sometimes give me the clothes uh, I do not want to say no I don't want to have it you know he 
thought of me and he gave it to me. So I, of course, you know, accept it and I enjoy it. And if somebody else give me that, I take it. So I'm not saying I'm not gonna reject all of the new clothes, but I do accept those clothes. Like for example, my friend is moving out, and he's throwing out the, f you know, he's donating or he's getting rid of the clothes. And I might, if he offers, I will say yes. <laughs> most importantly, though, most more important, most importantly, if it fits, I will accept. <sighs> I gain so much weight. So I have a lot of clothes. I have, this is one of those, but I can I can stitch while I don't have to wear because I need to lose some weight. Yay! Um, I will probably <laughs> not a problem. I will use the other kind, uh, other kind, uh, other color. Uh, the white is the baseline. Oh, I'm. <laughs> Wow, I'm sharing everything, but it's okay. Uh, white is the baseline that I'm doing, and I will keep adding the color on top of it. And see, see, <laughs> I'll see what color is the best as I go. I don't have that much blueprint at th this moment, but white is more like the outline, and I will go over the same stitches. So I'll show you now, just a second. So this is more like the big circle and outline. See, this is more like the outline of this design. <laughs> I don't know if it, I call it design or not, but this outline is this, and then I will edit some of the colors. For example, Wow, I'm sorry, there's one more. Actually, I have to do one more. This is horrible. It's a horrible idea. Wow, it has been one hour. Thank you so much for watching this. I feel much, much more comfortable to speak English tomorrow. The presentation is for two hours, including question and answers. So it's very important to know that I can speak. I can talk for that, mu that amount of time. Domo, domo, domo. I'll probably stop in twenty minutes. Let's estimate ten thirty as the finishing time one hour and a half is good amount of s live streaming i guess i may continue stitching after that but let's estimate 10 30 eastern time as the wrapping up time so if you have any questions now about sashiko culture his not a history but sashiko even philosophy or if you have any question opinion about what i write on instagram or facebook blah blah blah, blah, blah um, <laughs> You may find a different, um, how can a different message when I talk. Well, I think my message is pretty straightforward. I don't really contradict what I say and what I write. But it probably. Many people perceive it, receive it differently. 
because we all become defensive when we hear something uncomfortable and that defensiveness filters a lot of things but if you hear that well that makes me think that I should make more YouTube videos hmm. instead of writing on Instagram if they get reacted if they get reaction as their defensive mechanism and if I know that I can lower that defense by talking I probably make more YouTube videos instead of writing so much that's one thing to think about that's one thing to think about thank you thank you so much thank you so much thank you thank you for watching and well one thing I really <laughs> um, I think I'm proud of this I think I can say I'm proud of that is that I can <laughs> it might sound very weird but it's good that I can stitch in front of you you may find it very what the heck are you talking about but surprisingly there are many not a, I many is a probably an exaggerating word but there are teachers who cannot stitch I know teachers sashiko teachers who really don't stitch I mean teaching is very difficult teaching is a very time consuming uh, it's really another field in crafting same as writing if one write or teach it's, it's, it's quite difficult to find time to stitch that's another reason I get very um, burned out by focusing on those things because I lose time to stitch but the problem is that I have you know, already a lot of experience before I do start doing that so I can always come back there might be, I, I might know some teachers who really don't stitch. I don't know if they can or cannot. Probably. I hope they can. But they don't. When you translate, do you think in English? <laughs> That's a very good question. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I used to think everything in Japanese and then translate it. I don't anymore. That's a very good question. When did I stop thinking in in Japanese? I don't really translate anymore. So when I say something, when I share the message, when I write the those article, I do not translate at all. No, I don't. Well, I may use the dictionary for one word, but as the sentence, I do not write the Japanese first and then translate it. And then, therefore, my Instagram is very confusing for sometimes because what I write in English is completely different from what I write in Japanese. It's the same message, but I don't really translate it. When I was a student in, in the university in the US, it was my dream to not to think about Japanese because it's one extra step to have a discussion or even argument. When did I stop? Well, probably the marriage was very helpful. I stopped. Like, you know, when you have to argue, especially in those family, you have to really come up with the best <laughs> appropriate answer as soon as possible you don't want to really translate everything in your mind so that's probably helped me i guess but yeah this this explains it. so i stood i don't remember when but i watched sometimes the dream both in japanese and english that's a good sign that i can use english without going through japanese so when i dream something when I have a dream in English only, 
I sometimes do, then that's a good sign that I don't have to worry about it. When I read the metric measurement, I have to think by how big it is in feet and inches than compared. That's a different story. That's a very different story. <laughs> I always think, yes, I always think that imperial and I don't... Like, I gained... <laughs> you may not believe that, but I gained 25 kilograms. It's 50 pounds. That's a, that's insane. Fifty like twenty five kilograms is insane enough, but fifty pounds is super insane that I gained that much. But I was sixty kilograms when I was in Japan. Now, <laughs> over eighty. So that's. And the scary thing is, I didn't go through the birth. I'm the, you know, I'm a male. I'm, I, I cannot go through the birth. I didn't go through the birth. I went through the homestead at dad for two years. But without giving a birth, I gained 25 kilograms. Okay. I no, I, that, that makes me feel kind of a little sad. <laughs> aye, aye. Twenty-five. I. Thank God I had some big denim. That it fits. Mm, uh, that, that, that's a very good question. When did I stop thinking? I'm, I'm still thinking. In 2014, I decided to immigrate to the U.S. Um, that was the mutual interest for both of us as a family. Uh, we could have chosen the other countries, but U.S. was the best option for us. And we sincerely appreciate that opportunity to have. So, I think when I decided to immigrate, which means I m may be American in the future if I can get a citizenship, I don't know. I may have to give up the Japanese citizenship for that, so I don't know if I'm going to do it. But it's a big, big determination that I will change my life. And, you know, the language is kind of the basic to be part of that community. It is very important. I mean, you don't have to be able to speak English to be part of that, but you it's probably it's much easier to be part of that fa man not a family the community so is the pronunciation too i used to <laughs> i used to speak like very other japanese which i don't i don't know if i can do that but i was speaking english like this I guess, <laughs> but I had, I really had to go through, uh, not had to, I enjoyed those um, practice of pronunciation. Uh, if you find me speaking a little bit Russian accent, if I don't really focus, like if I get drunk, I have a pretty strong Russian accent. That's because of my wife. But I tried to, I didn't have a speech pathologist to help me out simply because I didn't have money. Um, I had a speech pathologist, so-called The Office, Netflix, the Michael Scott and Dwight. Uh, I kind of phrased their, f I memorized their skit, not a skit, the episode, and I kept speaking as if I am part of them. 
that helped that helped a lot to get the well but as a result i have to say that's what she said after everything but that that's you know minor problem what why I, what am i eating um so i'm a mm, how can i explain that i love cooking if i have a talent it's probably cooking so i was very particular about what my daughter eats i really want her to have a good tongue so i wanted to avoid all of those chemicals at least until three or four years old so no fast food i was very strict <laughs> that's why i'm so stressed out but i was very strict and i tried to make a lot so she can choose to eat the problem is that she didn't finish much and my wife is a vegetarian close to vegan so she doesn't eat meat fish you know those things but i wanted my daughter to try it as a result i make a lot of food meal and i hate wasting those i really cannot dump those food to the dumpster not a dumpster the trash so as the, as the result it came inside of me and you know oops and i i quit smoking that's i used to oh thank you so much bb rooster thank you so much if you have any questions i'm happy to answer thank you so much for that it, it's the chat thank you so as the result oh my god this is the second time i receive it so I, I lost my word <laughs> i lost my no i lost i became the trash can no i didn't become a trash can i didn't like to throw away the food to the trash can so i ate it everything and i wanted her to be healthy so breakfast lunch dinner i made everything and that's uh, you know i have to i had to eat it before i became a father i used to smoke and the morning was the coffee and cigarette lunch is the red bull and smoking cigarette so the breakfast is coffee and cigarette the lunch is the red bull and cigarette dinner is the alcohol and cigarette so there we go I i'm much healthier now trust me i'm much much healthier i'm a little bigger but much healthier i was like stick well you know i'm 171 i hope i hope <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm 171. I I try to say that it's 171, but it, since I'm 171, 60 kg is kind of scary, right? With a lot of, I try to walk out, so it's not healthy. Well, I'm talking about something I shouldn't have been talking, but that's who I am. That's where. <laughs> yep. I. Uh, you don't want to know me before that I changed like this. I was very. <laughs> mm. I was very me. You, if you read my Instagram, you may sometimes feel like I'm like a knife. I kind of, I'm sharp to everything they say. <laughs> I was like that naturally in before 2011. I was edgy. I was always angry. I hated everything. I hated myself too. So all I believed was numbers, which was money back then. So, I think the reason I keep saying that I'm extra difficult on Instagram and I do a good job is that I was like that and I know how to be like that. So, I mean, think about it. You know, I didn't like 
what I like it was it's not a good life. It was not a good life. My grandma is still looking for my wife in Japan. That's how <laughs> how controlled I was in Japan. I didn't have any choice around. I what I had was just about what I what I had a choice about is just about me. Of course I'll lose the control. We call my son a garbage disposal. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope I hope he's okay with that because if my wife called me garbage disposal mm, I am aware of that I am aware of that and I am the garbage disposal but <laughs> that's so fun So yeah, I became healthier. Well, the marriage was really good for me. She saved my life. I owe her one, big one. Okay, uh, can, can I do a little more? I'm sorry, I'm extending a little more. I would like to add one color to see if it's gonna be okay and I think I can a little more talk. See this is what happens when you do crafting or one more line, one more thread, one more time, one more thing and then you get <sighs> this is just a big trap. One more, one more and one more and then you realize it's like morning. I think it's common for most of us, don't you think? Like one more, one more line of this, one more drawing of this. It's okay tomorrow, I don't have to wake up that early so we can do one more. Well, you know, if we can be a little late tomorrow. Well, tomorrow is not that big day. Well, I can be sleepy. Well, then. <laughs> so many excuses to continue. I, mean, I cannot be <laughs> sleepy tomorrow because tomorrow is a big day and this is the re this is the practice for that so sorry I didn't really pronounce your name BB Rosser thank you so much for that I now finally had a chance to look closely thank you so much I'll buy how much am I gonna five dollars what can I buy I'll buy Well, I'll open the pot. How about that? Sorry, sorry, the crap. This is not the beer. This is not the beer. If you have something to drink, um, any alcohol is fine. I don't drink alcohol anymore, so um, it's you know it's a really relaxing, relaxing time for you and for me. So I hope you can drink something too. So this is not a beer. This is just, I think, Walmart doesn't matter if it's bubbly okay so this is the outline I was talking about I'll show you now so I hmm, the intention is to make the outline with the white line then I will add the stitches along to it so this pattern will be more visible or vivid and then I have a two colors that I was thinking uh, red or kind of rainbow it's actually a good idea to ask which, well, I mean, I probably use both, but which should I go first? Well, can we make those poles on the YouTube? I don't know how to do it, but I'll, I'll take you. Okay. 
sort. Ugh. Ah, hiccups. Red? Really? Too red. And not this rainbow? Ooh. Okay. This red is like red and white variegated. Not the rainbow? I thought you would say rainbow. Really? This was okay, fine. Uh, I mean, it's, it's both good. Wow. You always go over me. That's great. That's a very interesting thing to ask. <laughs> if I ask this question in Japanese, they both, they say not both. Don't, don't do any. They probably like something little darker and they probably like the Japanese friends probably they would say that the little darker color like green or brown and then they will probably not advise to use the variegated but yes I will follow your advice and I know, I know, it's mine, but at the same time, <laughs> I've been making a lot of those denims. So, to be honest, I probably don't wear this one right, off, right after this, because it's very fit. It's not comfortable to wear this. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not comfortable to wear this at this moment so I probably have to wait I can probably wear that but uh, the, you know it's gonna be it's hot and tight so it's okay to go around or go you know challenge is always good by the way I would like to ask you if you do sashiko, don't you think that the result of stitching with the like, color wise, the the result of the stitching is completely different from what you imagine in your head? I think that's what we always have to explain. Like, you we can imagine how the color of the thread looks like on the fabric. This might be good, red might be bad, orange might be good. But the result is very, um, in a good way, surprising. Sometimes disappointing, but usually su surprisingly good. So that's why I sometimes advise to those people that don't think too much, especially about the color. It's like a first come, but you never know what kind of gut you can get. It looks you try to control the color it's beautiful things that you try to control it i want to control that choice but at the same time the result might be something you really didn't expect and of course it can be sometimes disappointing but at the same time sometimes it becomes super like beyond our experience our expectation The colors are more, s yes, yes, often subtle than you expect. So it's many, you know, not many. Some people think a lot about the color variation, which is really fine. You should think about it. They should think about it. But the result can be sometimes very... Good. Good. Better than I think.
I hope I can I'm communicating well that um, stitching on denim is not that difficult and stitching a whole denim is not that crazy some people say it's crazy no you can't and many people prove that they can too so it may require to learn how to use the thimble you don't want to probably do one stitch by one stitch because it's going to require a lot of finger power which you probably cannot continue for one hour, two hours. It's, if you try to control the needle, then you have to use your fingers, and that might be very challenging to do so. But if the re if the purpose of not con no, if you <laughs> sorry, I still think in Japanese. Mm -mm. If you don't try to control the needle, then it's it's doable. I estimated 80 hours, but maybe faster than that. And those time is not that big of. It doesn't really matter how long it takes. Yes. See, that's why I don't want to start stitching at night. I cannot stop. <sighs> it's, uh, it's like a running high. If you start running, you don't know how to stop. It's the same as stitching high. If you start stitching, you don't know how to stop. The hand doesn't get tired or no pain. So you can pretty much go as far as, like, for, pretty much forever. That's what I did for the 24 hours, stitching. If there is a good company, like this time, many good comments, and, you know, help me to keep talking. And when I can keep talking. See? You were right. This looks really good. This 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 is good. Same with knitting. Yes, same with knitting. Same with And that's that's why we kind of enjoy that, right? And that's It's very precious in this life in this busy society that we can focus on one thing while not focusing on it. <laughs> I hope it makes sense. We are doing something, one thing, yet we are not focusing on it. Our brain, our mind is somewhere else. It's, it's, it's very subtle. <laughs> More subtle than I thought. But looks good. Let's keep doing it. I want one more, one more stitch. With regard to color, would you ever recommend making a small practice switch first? Mm, I teach. I when I teach, I recommend using the small fabric because this kind of fabric is kind of. Mm, difficult to get on the rhythm. Uh, <laughs> I re I don't recommend starting with the denim. Um, something easy like cotton fabric, soft cotton fabric. You know, like you can kind of squish like this. This kind of cotton fabric is very good to practice for the practice purpose. At the same time, if you are have if you have any specific goal to achieve, I don't have any. I don't see any reason not to practice with the denim or anything you have. <clears throat> I 
that's a that's an interesting question. Oh no, I completely misunderstood your your question. With regard to the color, would I recommend making a small practice switch swatch first? For this one, your question is if I would make the practice of this small swatches of the same fabric, same color denim, and then see how it's gonna look like. <laughs> That's probably the question. I'm sorry, I probably misunderstood your question. Would I do this practice or sample sample making before I start doing the main project? No, I'm I don't do that. I probably should, but I don't. The two reason is that it really once the uh, let's say if I make a sample of this sample fabric of this much, and if I do stitching like let's say parallel stitches. Uh, that will give me some idea of how the color looks like. At the same time, this is too small to look as the bigger picture. Bigger picture have a different outcome. So it is a good one benchmark to realize it, but it's not going to give you the whole idea. Uh, so I really don't do the sample making before I start working on it. And I like the surprise too. I like the surprise so and the third reason it's which is more honest is it's it's I'm lazy I don't I don't want to do it <laughs> so I know that that's that's probably it um, I nah <laughs> I don't make samples I pr I stop receiving the commission work but I usually probably don't offer these samples unless they really really ask for that but i would say as well that the sample is not gonna probably the same as you expect like it's not gonna be the same as sample because like when you sashiko is not about these small stitches these small part of stitches i mean it's beautiful it's beautiful to have this kind of this coaster this kind of thing is beautiful but this is very a part of sashiko the decorative thing I prefer those I don't have it right now but big thing I like a big big sashiko and then we kind of see stitches as part of it so one stitch doesn't really make a big difference one mistake or even one stitch I don't like it's not gonna be a big significant stitches like to complete this denim I probably make more than 10,000 stitches Probably more than 50,000 stitches. Well, well, I don't know how many, but more than, you know, numbers of stitches. So do I care about those one small mistake? I don't. It's not a mistake too. I mean, I just, it's just not my preference. So this stitch is a little bigger than this one. Do I like it? Mm -hmm. It's going to be okay. So, don't be hard. Keep enjoying. Okay. Um. I promise. Let's 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 make it eleven. Okay. I extended thirty minutes. I'm sorry, but I gotta do eleven, 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 eleven. Then I'll be finishing this. I'm sorry, like the 30 minutes ex hmm? How do you call it? Expanding time? No, extended. It's a bit too much, but... I want to see how this red works a little bit before I finish. <laughs> I might keep doing after the live streaming, but I try... I would like to keep this one as much as I can on the live streaming so people can follow this again. You can watch this again, how I do the denim stitching. My goal is to show the as road scenery, unedited, sorry, unedited version of stitching. I mean, you know, we can fake a lot of things. We can, I can stitch a little bit of here. 
little, little bit of there and then I can ask somebody else to stitch <laughs> and then come back and then say like this is something I did when I was not on live that, 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 that's possible too, and that's fine, I, th there's nothing wrong with that but I like you to see that whole process so you know I'm not actually the teacher I I'm trying my best to improve my teaching so that we can you know I can teach and I enjoy writing so that I can share what I have been through but after all I like stitching so it's important for me to keep stitching Okay, like I teach a lot recently and I really enjoy it. Um, teaching for me is more like a offering. This is not teaching by the way. This I decided not to teach on the YouTube because for me teaching is more like customizing my information to the person who is learning. So everybody has a different uh, condition so I would like to navigate, there we go, navigate the students to get what they want to, more like what they are promised to receive. That's why I prioritize on very small group and in person, not in person, one on one or very customized group. At the same time, I do not want to. Um, filter or I want everybody to understand not understand learn sashiko. my goal is to share sashiko it's not like filter people to learn sashiko so and I learned that I had never received any education about sashiko nobody taught me how to do it I had to learn by looking uh, my online class my classes are more like the essence of my learning into three or four hours so yes we can you can learn by looking at it and i'd like to share those opportunities as well what do you do with the little loops of the thread that's a really <coughs> common question and i think i do have an answer for that on my website upcyclestitches.com probably you should have somewhere or well, if not I will add the web link later on or the description well it is upcyclestitches.com and then there's you should be able to find those uh, search window like the sidebar well if you're using the computer there should be a sidebar and there should be the search window and type Y loop and then I explain why I keep loop and then how to deal with it should be <laughs> it's a long time ago it should be written there but I explain why there's a loop and why how do you de deal with it I don't know. Well, for this case, for this case, not everything. I make a lot of loops and many people ask me this question, why loop? And I answer those questions. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be very long. So I want to kind of, I don't want to, I, it's going to be over 11 o'clock because so I don't want to start it here. So please search and then you can find the information. But for this, for this denim, only for this denim, these loops are gonna be gone after completing all of the loops are gonna be gone i think well yes they're gonna be all gone but i have only one loop mm. Wow, today nobody is so... <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> I usually... 
um, this might not be the best way to ex express it. I usually have a very unpleasant comment. <laughs> mm. I don't know if it's a good way to express it, but I used to. I used to have a, like the question right now, like what do you do with the little loops of thread? Would those not get snuggled when you wear the pants? That's a very often asked question, and I, I'm perfectly with that. But you gently, kindly edit, sorry, I'm a complete beginner. That is very, you know, considerate. Just adding that one sentence makes me feel much easier to answer the question. But some people are like, why loop? That's it. Like, why do I have to answer that? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> it's so strange. Why loop? Yeah, sure. But, like, what do you mean by why loop? Do they expect me to answer that by them saying why? Today... It's a very good day. <laughs> well, that's why I'm kind of overdoing it for uh, 30 minutes or so. But yeah, um, pretty much all, if I don't answer the question, uh, I, I usually answer the question. And I, if the qu answer is very long, I will navigate you to the already answered the question. But it, it's really already provided. So if you could check it, that'd be great. And thank you so much for asking in a nice way. Thank you. I mean, not knowing is okay. I, I keep saying not knowing is okay. Like, you know, we don't... If you're new here, of course you don't know it. So not knowing is perfectly fine. I'm not going to get upset by not knowing. I don't know a lot of things. I just want... To be, well, I want them to be reasonable. I don't know how to say it, those words. Not even respectful. I don't ask the respect for that. Wow, English problem. English problem. Help me out. English problem. It's like reasonable. I want to say reasonable, but it's not reasonable. Mm. Not even considerate, not a polite. I don't think I'm asking too much. Like, the question, what do you do with the little loops of the thread is very complete sentence and I appreciate that. But some people in the past <laughs> asked, why loop? Why loop? <laughs> That's, do they bother to even put the full sentence there? I don't know. It's, it's very... We live in a very strange world. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to pick your comment, but it reminded me some of the interesting experience in the past. We live in a very interesting... Oh my. Sorry. Whew. I feel much easier to speak one hour tomorrow. I mean, two hours tomorrow. <coughs> So this will be the first webinar that I'm going to have uh, for the specific group of people, so it's not a, for the public. But I would like to, if it goes well, it's two hours, it's quite long. I think I can talk, I can talk for two hours, which I, I did today, I can talk for two hours 
with with stitching but if i have to organize and if i have to make it like a webinar i don't know if i can talk for two hours so it, it's it's my challenge i practiced it but i really it, it's gonna be it's gonna be about <laughs> about hour and a half so i can include q and a so it's gonna be two hours i hope but this is the first time and if it goes well i will probably i may offer that webinar but <laughs> At the same time, it's it's really the same that I. It's more like a summarized version of my all live streaming. So if you watch all the live streaming, then you probably don't find anything new. But it's all well summarized. So let's see. Yeah, this this summer is very interesting. I started receiving some request of the webinar, not the uh, online class or not the class. It's more like teaching, not teaching. <laughs> you know, the opposite. It's more like the lecture, not the lecture. Speech. So, yes, yeah, speech. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, ah, English is so difficult. I think it is a wish for reasonable respect. In general, I wonder if. I'm sorry, I skipped one question. I'm sorry. Oh my. This is very interesting and relaxing to watch. I feel like I've made something tonight, even though you are doing all the work. <laughs> that, 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 that's, that's illusion. That's illusion. But please make it. <laughs> and, but at the same time, I'm glad that you felt like that. Please mend. Um, this is a little bit off the topic, but... I like you know mending is not mending the fabric for us. We have a choice to not to mend. We can always replace it. But then some people ask, why do you mend? And uh, we're mending something else. We are of course mending this. Like right now, I'm not mending, but I'm stitching on this fabric to make it stronger. But do I have to make this fabric stronger? No, I don't have to. But why do I do that? Because I think I want to make something stronger, which is not this. And, you know, if you felt that you s achieved something, that's very good. It's my wish that you felt like that. I'm so happy and I'm, I can be proud of myself too. <laughs> Thank you. I, w I it is... I'm sorry. It, I think it is a wish for reasonable respect. In general, I wonder if there is more polite respect shown in Japanese culture than American culture, online culture. Yes. <laughs> Sharon, yes. The answer is yes. Uh, <laughs> you might want to go back and check the Japanese person's question. Usually, they have a prelude of explaining why they have to ask the question and apologizing why they have to ask the question and then they may ask the question at the end so they might not ask the question but there's like a prelude or pre pre introduction of the questions and i'm getting used to that the Japanese write so long email. If you received my email, I know, I'm sorry. This is too long. I know, I, I really know, but I don't want to change it because I, you know, I'm conveying Japanese culture. So I can write down, hey, what's up? And then, you know, this is the link, buy and click it. However, I don't do that because in Japanese, you have to start with... <laughs> unnecessary long explanation of what's going on um, it, it's not good for the business pur purpose because it's taking your time I'm sorry like you know if this is the business partner partner that's a horrible thing to do because I'm taking your time but since what I email to is those who are interested in Japanese culture I would like to not to change that too but yeah, it's very different. Sorry, one last question, one last comment. I am loving this channel. Can you tell me if it's normal to work from the inside of the back of the work? Uh, I've noticed the English seem to work on the front. Um, we, 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 <laughs> we, we is not a, we, we, like us, 
I, the sashiko I practice, we work on the back side of the fabric uh, almost 90%, 95%, 99%. I, we barely work on sashiko from the front or um, the showing side. There are reasons, there are many reasons for that. I believe I, I may have the video but we have reason we do stitch from the back side and yes the many many sashiko translated in english tells you to stitch from the uh, front side because um there's answer for that i mean there you have to follow those directions they have a stitch sized line so your goal is to fill those gaps to make the exactly same stitch as the fabric gives you. So you always have to look at the front side as the result. So you you know you can control how the result looks like. My goal is not that. My goal is to not to make perfect visual as the outcome. I mean it's, it's gonna be great. So it doesn't really it matters how it looks, but it's not the priority. Yep, I can show you. Can I finish this much thread? I know, I know, I know it's up after 11, but I'm sorry. This much, this much thread, this much thread. I was not expecting. Just, I'll, I'll speed up, I'll speed up. Do I launder the pants in the special manner after Sashiko? Nope! Um, yes, for the first few times. But no, not really. <laughs> Let me rephrase it. Yes, I will do a little bit special way to treat stitching for the first few times. Uh, I teach that on my class, but it's not that difficult. It's just there's a specific way to treat your stitches. If this was for some customers or if I'm paid for that, but for myself, no, I don't. This is gonna go to the washing machine directly. <laughs> Many people, like, they, they get shocked because I just throw it to the washing machine. On my website, I explain don't do it. And I don't want to do it because there's a possible risk of destroying your stitches and the color of your thread. So I don't do it if this is paid work or if this is for somebody else. This is for myself and I don't want to do dry cleaning the denim, right? Like you, nobody dry clean the denim, right? Do people do that now? I don't know, but <laughs> I want to throw it to the That's a big thunderstorm. So, you know, this is Sashiko's most important thing about Sashiko is to be ordinary. Therefore, <laughs> therefore, yes, I throw it to the washing machine. Yes, yes, I'm sorry, like I will I will show you the front soon, just a second, okay? And thank you so much for saying that I, you don't mind how long this runs. Uh, it, it's, it's me, I have to sleep too. I'm a father of six years old who is not in school because of the summer, so yeah, that means something. Just, oh my, why did I pick this one? Ah, why did I pick this way? Just, 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 just sorry, just five, not, not even five, two or three more minutes. Then I can show you the front. If you have to go, come back, the, I'm not gonna go more than that, so you can see the... <laughs> People, what? Hope not. I read somewhere that people freeze their denim to keep the color. 
Well, that's a different obsession. I don't want to say obsession. I'm sorry. I didn't say obsession. It's a different preference. So they care about the denim. So they probably wash their denim in a special way. Sashiko doesn't do that. Okay. Okay, okay. So this is the front. So this white line is the... Mm, what did I say? Uh, white line is the <laughs> outline. There we go. And as I go down, it's, it's good. The red is the answer. Red is good. It's not that good if I put it this way. So this is the one leg. It's the left front. And I will do the left front. I'm, I'm sorry, I will do everywhere. Left front and back and then right front and back the same design not the same but the similar design same concept free hand so you know <laughs> i don't even know what i'm gonna what, what i'm gonna do with the back side but it's sort of the flow free hand yeah <laughs> there's no pattern there's no nothing no design paper so this is about two hours work it's it's take, you know, Sashiko is time taking, but by looking at whole, you know, this is this is the unedited version of Sashiko stitching, and this is how I can leave Sashiko to the next generation. And by looking at this, I hope you kind of learn that it's not that crazy to do the Sashiko stitching on the whole denim. And I have a lot of denim that I have stitched, which I don't have it right now here. But I can stitch a lot of things. I don't have it now. Yeah, I'll bring it. I mean, freehand is, you know, free, freehand is easier. Freehand means the neglecting not to follow the rules. Okay, so I will come back. I don't know when at this moment yet. But I did not... I thought it would be difficult to come back to the live streaming, but it was not that difficult, so I will probably come back more often. Uh, I'll try to make sure to announce it a little bit before the live streaming, not like today. Uh, I'll do it tonight. It's a good way to do it, but at the same time, I'll try to be as organized as possible. Uh, if you're watching this after the live streaming, uh, please leave the comments qu with a question. If I see the comment with the questions, I may be able to talk on that topic in the next live streaming, which I cannot promise, but I will try my best. Mm, what else? What else? What else? I think that's about it. I hope you had a great, you have a nice night with stitching. If you're from uh, uh, the outside of the world, not a world, outside of the, not outside, not outside, the opposite side of the earth, have a good day. And if you're in the northern, north part of the, <laughs> I'm sorry, if you're in this time zone, have a good night. All right. Thank you so much. Bye bye. How am I gonna stop this? Just a second, okay. It has been so long that I don't know how to stop. Huh? Oh, there we go. Live high studio.